Coming at you again with a reaction video. Now, last time I did one of these was with Say Jam. Somebody left a very helpful comment. They said, hey, Arroyo, your voice is very loud and the video is not that loud. So today we are watching Fighting Game Select. We have Kizzy K, who's in charge of the Fighting Game Select uh, channel. 70,000 viewers. I'm subscribed, dude. Put me on the channel, Kizzy K. I made a cameo. And we have Idom, very strong contender playing Manon. Uh... The, as you can tell by the title, is does Idom think the state of Street Fighter 6 is healthy? I'm saying Street Fighter 6 is, it's like, Street Fighter 6 is like 85% healthy, you know? It's like 80, it's like so close to being like a very good game, but it's like not there. But of course, if you like the video, please subscribe button, comment down, leave a like, go check out Fighting Game Select, their video will be in the description down below. Let's get into it, let's see what does Idom, oh, let me move my webcam. I don't want to block the goats. I'll go bottom right. I'll go bottom. I'll go bottom right. Here I hey, what's up, boy? Oh, this way. Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, yo, Kizzy. Yo, what's up, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I three five six. Great game. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? I'll just I'll just be in the back. I'll just be in the back. Okay. What about if they made uh throws hard knockdown? <laughs> that would make the game. Uh, that's gonna turn the game to Street Fighter 4. Oh, what is going on, guys? What's going on, Kizzy? Here. We are back How's the sound? How's the sound chat? Uh, the meta game right now for Street Fighter 6 with Idom. I mean, I feel like getting from a Manon player perspective. Idom, look at him, dude. That d hey, take a screenshot. One of the 25 times this man has smiled in his entire life. Uh, spe uh, specialist. I feel like talk about health. real quick. I feel like Idom smiles the most when he talks bad about Street Fighter 6. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. You know, I respect it. Healthiness, uh, and Street Fighter I respect 6. it. And I just want to ask you, man, how do you feel about the meta game right now? Is it healthy? I've always thought about this. I feel like there's two sides to this argument. There's a yes and a no. And I'm kind of. Dude, like, there's a yes and a no, chat room. Oh, shit. I not cracked the case. The, the, the no kind of side of things. Just a bit. But there there is a good thing about it, too. So. The reason why I don't Let's think see. The, the meta has been healthy right now is because I do feel like still to this day, even way, way back when, maybe like 2021, 2022, when okay. the Street Fighter 6 beta kind of first came out, I actually did a video about this on my YouTube channel, funny enough. Uh, That's I crazy. I like the game was going to be played kind of like, you know, like a low forward drive rush. You know what? The weird thing is like, a lot of the issues that people, I feel like a lot of the issues people have with Street Fighter 6 is like the same issues that they had during the beta, right? A lot of the, like, there's no, like, the only thing I feel like system wise that has changed is the drive reversal. The drive impact is the same, drive rush is the same, burnout is the same, drive parry is the same, throws are the same, like, all of that stuff, like, is the same. The only thing that changes really was, like, character balance and drive reversal, which still is not fucking good because it rewards characters that have a six-frame medium and it's not scaled combo, like a perfect parry. So people with a six-frame medium can still beat your ass even if you use drive reversal, which kind of makes drive reversal only really useful if the opponent is burned out, but while the opponent is burned out, you don't want to spend two of your own bars, right? You know, like, so I feel like a lot of the issues that he's going to say, they're going to, they're like still there, right? And now, and I'm not saying like these issues are like detrimental to the game, right? It's not like Zangief can just fucking grab you once and your health bar explodes, but it's like little things that are like, why? Like, these are things that the top players are saying. Not me, right? Arroyo, oh, Arroyo fucking complains. I do, because I love something. When you love something, you fight for it to be better. That's why my ass is in the gym! Getting swole. Because I care about my health. Ran, uh, random drive rush into corner. Into, you know, corner kind of just like throw loop DI. Oh, he said it. Want to do. And just kind of like a rinse repeat, because that was going to be like really super strong and like going to be kind of like meta defining in the game fast Damn. Forward three years later we're still kind of doing that that's kind of what all we're still doing it man in the game are, think about it think it. about it ken does rounds right think about it. you're fighting ken put yourself in this situation you're fighting ken ken does a crouching medium kick drive rush heavy punch flame tatsu into the corner and then he throws you every fucking ken does that or they're gonna do a heavy punch right and you have to fucking guess at that point or they're going to do nothing, and then you fucking wake up DP because you're like, oh, Ken's always fucking throw loop here. This Ken's like, Haha, I always fucking throw loop here, but I'm not this time. And then he doesn't throw loop. You wake up, 
DP and then he punches you in the fucking face and then now your health bar is at like 20%. There's still 91 seconds in the match. And this is just kind of like the, been the way to play the game for like the past. Oh, what the hell? Manscape? Manscape? Yo, who in chat? Yo, everybody use my Manscape code. I don't have one. I don't have one. And I feel like I feel like it it became more dominant like that now that throw loops got figured out. Yeah. I will burn myself out to throw. Yeah, it, it's it's a weird way because like. I oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Like, throw loops are. Oh, here we go. What are you doing? Waking up, Barry. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? I do think like I can teach my. Uh, like a, an eight-year-old how to throw loose somebody like throw loops aren't you know that complicated good di reaction okay i'm gonna walk up i'm going to if you think they're not gonna tech you throw again if you think they're going to tech you walk back a bit bait the shimmy and then you take like what four or five k no that's what i just talked about on my stream i'm live every day playing games uh that's why i just dude this is listen i'm not i don't go to tournaments i don't like do this shit but I have a good understanding of the games that I play because I like the games I play. And obviously, a lot of my channels revolving around teaching players. So I know what a pro and con list is. So I know what the fuck is the pro and cons of teching. And I'm telling you right now, the cons of teching is losing your entire fucking health bar. The pros of not teching is you have to get thrown five times to basically, like, if they have full drive gauge and a level three. You would have to get thrown five to six times, depending on the character, for them to do the same amount of damage. So it's better for you just to hope that they go for a fucking shimmy and then stop applying pressure versus you waking up tech, they go for a shimmy, then you fucking lose the game. It's bad. It's bad, dude. It's bad. I don't like it. It's bad. Normal, you know, standard V and B. If they Up jump you in two. The air, they're in the same situation. It's kind of oh, like, it's shit. Like a flowchart in a sense that like it really is. This is a really good flow chart to kind of like, you know, keep your opponent guessing. I don't think uh, low four drive rush should jail off any sh any jab. Or any oh, shit. shit. So if I do like low four drive rush and I match jab to like jail you, that shouldn't work. The only way for that sh should work. Wait a second. He's spitting. Drive rush button into drive rush jab. Because now you're adding the frame data of the plus frames that you had from the jive yeah. rush button wait a second kizzy's fucking cooking brother can you imagine where fucking crouching medium kick or you know crouching medium punch where the fuck in the drive rush your opponent could just hit you out of it oh my god you know you know what that would lead to you know what that would lead to chat <laughs> say it with me hit confirms we would if the only way to capitalize on your drive rush for a combo is to do a button and it has to hit and then you drive rush you're going to get a higher echelon of players because now they're actually paying attention to their hit they're not just doing medium kick or crouching medium kick buffering fucking drive rush if it if it hits they'll do their combo if it doesn't they'll just do a fucking plus on block normal and then do fucking nothing right this is a great fucking point right everything that they have said is talking about, like, how do you say it? Everything that they have said is, like, so fucking smart. You're saying raise it higher? No, nah, I'm not raising it higher. I'm looking at my... Yeah, so, now nah, uh, you can hear them. I think it should be a little bit more expensive like that. And the reason why I say that oh, is I because um, uh, if they remove, like, the jailing from just low for drive rush into jab, that would just naturally beat anyone that just used button into drive rush, and every character should have like an option to there avoid that so like let's say for example you might not have a, a db but if you know that they're going to low for a drive rush you buffer super and you super them it should always punish always guarantee i respect that yeah yeah that would actually be a, a really good change uh i think say it i don't fix a lot of like the the free pressure yeah in the the game. Side, look at this like look yeah, at like the, look at the, what the fuck i don't just did right really like you know you gotta remember when people say like oh we want changes right um like me personally i hate throw loops so i'm never gonna tech and i hate throw loops i'm not even gonna throw loop my fucking opponent at most i'll go two crazy if i'm feeling fucking froggy i'll go three throws and then i'll stop because i'm like dude what the fuck am i doing like i'm just throwing this motherfucker 
Like, this is so fun. I find it corny. That's just me. But, like, you have to understand that pro players, they have to use the cheese, right? It's not really cheese, right? It's a game mechanic. They have to use the game mechanic as it is. So, as you see here, watch. Idom like does the, this. The Bink, another drive rush. Yeah, more pressure. Time. More pressure, right? Like, he has to use it, right? It's not like we're not going to use it, but I'm not going to fucking throw loop. Yeah, the, and the I'm not going to fucking tech. Fuck you. I, I do think... This is why I kind of say the double-edged sword. I, I still have a winning win rate. I still have a positive win rate. I remember I was talking to Boost about this. Boost! If the game removed throw loops or like low forward drivers jailing or something like that, the game would get omega slow. I think nobody would do anything, personally. That That is true. But and I like that. I would rather the game be slow and methodical and you think like... Because Street Fighter is, brother, Street Fighter is supposed to be the footsies based fighting game. It's supposed to be the footsies based fighting, the footsies based fighting game. Every, every other fucking fighting game, you have air dashes, you, you can block in the air, you can fucking, you can sprint across the fucking screen. Well, I mean, I guess now you can with drivers, but normally, I mean, in these anime games, you don't even have to fucking do that, right? Like, you. Street Fighter is like supposed to be like you poke the guy, do a low forward fucking Hadouken, like, and then do shit. It's supposed, that's how the game is, I think that's how the game was supposed to be, but they kept, you know, they, Street, that's why I think Street Fighter 5 has a better feel than Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 is an overall better fucking game, but in Street Fighter 5, when you get whiff punish, like, okay, I got whiff punish, right? You, right, you see a lot of like, Crouching meme kicks, like, whiff, 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 right? They're trying to catch each other. That's what, that's what it's about. Am I, you know? But I mean, I mean, I think, I think the way, it's hard to say if people are going to do anything or not, because there's so many things in this game that makes you need to do something, right? Like, for example, like, you know, if you're, if you're pressuring somebody and they're, and they're just blocking, then they're losing drive kicks. Damn, burn out. Right? Yeah. So they're eventually going to, like, have to make a move but um that's why i think alone with that it's very easy to like at least have somebody force somebody to do something and yeah also with jab into drive rush also forces people to do something oh wait too. yeah that's true, that's true that's something that they changed that's something that I, I did lie earlier i did lie i said that they only really changed drive reversal that's true they did initially change that standing jabs if you press your drive rush button, which is your parry button, um, you will spend your three bars to drive rush because there was like a thing where Tokido was like mashing fucking light punch on a guy in the corner and he was he kept just doing light punch parry, light punch parry, light punch parry. And then when eventually it connected, then he would drive rush in. So they got rid of that, right? So that see, like they so they can make changes. Because you can whiff jab randomly and then drive rush and then try to, you know, try to force pressure. And things yeah. like that. I, I mean, stuff like that would be really good. I mean, I know charge characters would get a, a natural buff with that, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, if they if Damn, that's block. gonna slow the game too too slow to look at this, dude. And also look at this. Uh, look but, at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, look I know this. charge characters. Would and this is our thing, right? Look. So once again, we get a, with the driver system. Buff with that, you got Zengi fucking sprinting at your bitch ass. Right, he's still in the animation, right? He's still in the animation. When Idom did his level two, like he's still really in his good. fucking animation. I mean, I charge characters would get a, a natural buff. Let me pause it, or let me mute it. And then look at this, watch. And then Idom wakes up level two. Nah, you got fucking blocked, pussy. Right? Nah, you got fucking blocked. I know Zangief is a, is, you know, he threw your ass and he's fucking full screen and then he dry rushed at you. Yeah, he, he, just, he just, he closed the gap for a bar. One bar, he closed the gap, and then you woke up fucking level two because you thought maybe he was still in the driver rush animation bada bing bada boop you're fucked uh if they if that's gonna look at his health goal too, look at this too slow to was born to watch then they just need to remove throw loops. yeah well yeah that's that's kind of like the main thing i feel like is i feel like the easy change to actually just remove throw loop i feel like removing throw loops would actually make the game way more healthy and way less flow chart i feel like which is kind of a bad thing i feel like the the flow chart of this game is kind of like you're wasting oh my god I'm wasting what what am i wasting number one dermatologists recommend you to subscribe to my channel insanely easy to kind of pull off but like that's kind of the other thing too i do i definitely think the flow chart is good because i think they just show the same round again it's so simple that it can get more people into playing the game mm, and have a better true like, right 
Snap, snap for Idom, snap for Idom. What did he say? The game's fucking brain dead, so everybody can play. Everybody can play Street Fighter 6. The game's easy. You got three things to fucking do. Oh, my. No, no. I know. I just get out of the comment section and get out. I don't mind the fact that new players can pick up the game. That's not the point, but the point is that when you take a look at the rank system, right? Take a look at the rank system. You get die like remember Street Fighter V, you started at rookie, then you got to master, grandmaster, and then warlord, I believe is how it went. If you do uh rank properly, right? You're gonna get more people in the ranks that they're supposed to be, but Street Fighter Six, because there's so many like gimmicks per se that people can capitalize at, when I fight master players. They don't fucking know what to do. They don't know that Ed's light flicker or light blitz is negative five. Like I'll be, I'll do like a crouching medium punch, light blitz. Like, oh, fuck, I'm about to get punished. And then they don't punish me, right? Like these are people who are at the top rank that don't understand the fucking game, right? And then, and then it, and then it goes lower. Look at the diamond players. What the fuck are they doing? Then look at the gold players and look like a lot more people should be silver or gold rank than what they are. The rank system, I believe, has failed us because it makes they, they made the game very easy to where people can like progress in rank and it feels good, don't get me wrong. But then when you hit master, you fight people who actually know the game and not like three things. And then these are the people that are gonna be at your twelve hundred MRs. You're like, what the fuck? How is this guy the same rank as me? How am I two K MR? I'm a master player. This guy's eleven hundred MR, but he's a master player. At the end of the day, technically if we were going to a fucking club and they said master players only, me and that motherfucker would be in the same club together. I'd be dancing. I'm like, isn't that the motherfucker that just wakes up DI every round? What the fuck is he doing here? And then he's going to look at me like, oh, yeah, dude, people didn't know how to fucking deal with Honda Headbutt week one. So I made a master. And because of the rank system, I never get fucking demoted. So, yeah. Oh, I love this song. Ba, 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 ba. Really fucking headbutts away. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Again, because... I think this game is to a point where, like, if you understand the drive system really well, you know how to play the game. It's, it's as simple as that. Capcom, I think, I think is in a state right now where they're making games accessible in a very unique way, uh, yeah. with at least some thought process behind it. But the problem is, and he just that raw DI offense, neutral. Uh, there's no thought process, mm -hmm. and you know, companies are knowing that that's how, that's how Damn. you pretty much uh, sell the game. You know, like. That is the seller. Uh, Everybody and, can play it, man. And, that's, and no matter what, for for players like you, uh, I think oh. it's always going to feel slightly unhealthy. I I think I always think it's a, a weird like Damn, dude, they're it's a weird kind of disconnect. But I feel like having the games be easier is good for sure because like I said, it gives more people to play and like you want to understand the offense, but also from like spectators or people just watching the game because i remember way back when i think there was an article about like marvel 3 it is very easy to watch street fire 6 i will tell you that right very fucking easy to watch street fire 6 and it's super fucking cool when they do when you know when you're watching for the first time like take it back right to when street fire 6 first got announced and these motherfuckers drive impacted each other for the first time Bro, the FGC went crazy. What? Drive it back. That shit's so fucking. That shit's so fucking sick, dude. Though shit, drive it back. Oh, that's that shit's hyped up. Time slows down. Then they enter the crumple state. Like, oh, this is so sick. And then now we're like, ah, oh, fucking drive impact, right? It's like, like we, when you evolve in a fighting game, the stuff that's exciting at first, eventually you're like, oh, fucking, yep, di, oh. They DI'd me. Oh, I DI'd them. Okay, they woke up DI, DI'd them back. Like, and now when the slowdown happens, you might, you're like, oh, okay, you fucking gotta deal with this shit again. Or like, why the fuck is this guy DI'ing so much? But as a spectator who doesn't watch Street Fighter, if they were to watch it and see like the first slowdown DI, they're probably like, what the fuck? This game's sick. And then they're gonna pick it up and then they're gonna be fucking master in like a week or something and people didn't know why people were like up back in that game but I never touched the like, fighting game master in a week play. i know why people are up back and they don't want to hold the high low mix up and you know there's no high low in the air same thing with like anime games is like but those little kind of like tangents are like 
I think what are scaring the newer players, mm. which is why I think this game has been coming. This game is like very easy to explain. Like I think Street Fighter Six is one of the most damn nobody showed up to the bike to explain to like a new player or like somebody who's never really played fighting games before. But if you have to, ex Kizzy, I know if you have to explain. Look like, at that, dude! Somebody, oh my god! Oh my god! Let, let me rewind it. Look at this sequence, dude! Look at this sequence. No throws. No, no. Look at this sequence. Look at how good this game looks. Re all Ryu has to do, realistically, right? All he had to do here, uh, Kusanagi was like heavy punch Tatsu, and then he goes in the fucking light jab throw. And he just does that shit for fucking like 17 times until fucking... Actually, he does do it during the set. Oh my god, I forgot. Kusanagi does throw loop Shao Hai during the set. I think it was the last game. He threw that motherfucker seven times in the corner, right? Um... But no, but look at this, right? Like, this is a boom, bank, you know, do some shit. Look at the footsies, block, you know, block again, backdash, whiff, whiff, block, whiff, block, parry, block, button, right? Now we're, now we're in fucking neutral. Life is good. Backdash, and then, you know, you try to fucking throw. We got backdash, right? That, I think, personally, I think throw should be like negative fucking 9,000. If you whiff a throw... You should eat a heavy fucking punch to the face. Because if I go for a tech, right? You got to think about it. If I go for a tech, why the fuck am I eating a heavy punch? You go for a tech, I backdash, I can get a light punish. What the fuck? At least, maybe at least, I'll, you know, minus, well, no, because Cammy's heavy punch is eight. Maybe like seven. Maybe like, maybe, 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 maybe like plus seven or some shit. I don't fucking know. But like, you should be, when you make the read, to backdash a throw, you should you should be rewarded. You should be rewarded, right? Versus not Somebody that much damage. Never really played fighting games before, but if you have to, ex uh, Kizzy, I know if you have to explain like Exer to somebody, if you're, oh, you gotta, I have, yeah, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be like, yo, we got a tutor in class. Hey, uh, if you got you got some time at five o'clock, all right, five, you got time five to seven. Five, five to seven. seven. Five okay, to okay, seven. Five to seven. Okay, I got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah, can't just yeah. I can't just sit down and just be like. Here's the how to understand X third in five minutes. Yeah, I can make a thirty minute video, but I, I can't make a five out. minute video. Yeah, because that's... there's there's layers. Oh my god, look at that hiccup! Look, look at that hiccup! Look at that hiccup! Getting in, would like to learn. Yeah, but no, like other older fighting games for sure. Like they're they're talking about like Exert and shit. Older fighting games for sure, very complicated. Newer fighting games very like there like there's a medium somewhere to where a game can have depth. And still, like, be good. I mean, but here's the double-edged sword with that. Because I feel like those people, once they understand, I feel like they are looking for something to learn something for 30 minutes. Yeah, they want, yes. they want to go to the, the next step. Next, the next step. Yeah. And But the problem is the game doesn't give you the next step. There's, yes. Oh, my God. Yes. It's like, well. Yes. This is what it There's is. There's only so See, much you, know you know can I mean? do in like, Street Fighter yeah, 6. You know I mean? There's only so much you can do in Street Fighter 6, brother. I talk about all the time with Ed. Ed has the coolest level two in the fucking game. He can do so much shit. But because of the way the juggle physics work in Street Fighter 6, you can only do so much with Ed level two to where the Momochi combo, well, I guess now it's like the Shin Dream combo is like kind of improved on it slightly. Um, there's only so much you can do with that level two. And I try to like lab the medium version of the level two. You don't get anything fucking cool. I try to lab the heavy version of the level two where he fucking chucks it at your bitch ass. There's nothing you can really do there as well. Like, there's only so much to do in Street Fighter 6. There's no, like, oh, it's annoying. It's it's, it's so fuck. Like, you, there's only so much. I mean, like, this yeah. is what it is. So there's really no thing. And that is the problem that a lot of developers, oh. in my opinion, are struggling. Is they, is they have level two, people them out. to get them. And this is why competitive competition is always in hope. Is that they always have, they always have the right people to get them to play and they get them to play and they're like it's simple but then once those percentage of people that actually want to take themselves to the next level they don't need to take themselves to the next level because of everything that you already learned you're just doing that now even harder the the new play the, the casual is kind of like obviously the the selling point like yeah no you you're need trying to sell your game right at the end of the day the casual that's why i make a lot of my content to help casual players get better because the casual players are the money maker, right? They're, these are the people buying the battle passes. These are the people decking out their avatars, right? 
you want them to enjoy the game. You want them to have an easy time with the game. But that doesn't mean you can't give your game depth for the higher level play. Like, look at, like, Sparking Zero, right? Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. If you want, you can fucking just go and just mash the square button, mash the Y button, do a fucking Kamehameha, you're good. Or you can watch the fucking tips about fucking shooting around the fucking screen and staggering pressure and doing this and doing that and how to fucking do this and that. Like, Sparking Zero has crazy depth. For a game where you can beat the story mode by just hitting the X button and then watching the fucking cutscenes. End of the day. But, like, you, you need them to play. So, it is... You want the game to be easy, but, like, I, I do kind of agree. It's like, you're not really upping the, 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 the level of play. You're kind of just being like, yeah, I'm going to keep punching the wall. And then, like, yeah, the wall's eventually going to break. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, and, like, like, you know, and, 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 and short term, it's great. Right, but like, mm. think of the learn long term damage that your hands are gonna have. If I ask somebody who first started Street Fighter Six, yo, Street Fighter Six a great game. They're gonna be like, oh man, it's great. I'm having a great time. It's yep. fun. It's amazing. Like they're gonna say everything positive about it because that's all they know. You know, that, that's all they know. They don't that, know. Go ahead. That's that's such a that's such a huge thing in fighting games because like I I've, I've met people who started on like DNF, but like. It is such a it's such a weird thing and it's always funny to hear Back like dash. everyone's gonna have different like perspectives and opinions because like i said i when i got started like i was obviously i played like street fighter 4 but like street fighter 4 wasn't the game that got me into fighting games it was like marvel 3 and yeah then, marvel like, 3 crazy game from like marvel 3 tinted glasses i'm like oh this is why yeah, this is like that and then yeah, like oh yeah all this tinted, makes sense not the tinted glass <laughs> hey it's true though hey, hey he's not wrong though like when you love a certain game you're gonna always see it in a different light and that's why i'm able to voice my like opinion about street fighter 6 is because i think this game is amazing but there's definitely things that can be improved don't get me wrong right there's definitely things that like can be improved but because i love the game so much i want it to prosper so i'm so burpy like i want the game to like be better right i want it to be perfect i want i want when street fighter 6 like ends for it to people be like, man, that was, man, Street Fighter Six was the best Street Fighter ever, right? I don't want like what happened with Five. People, people fucking hate Five, even though Five ended good because it started bad. I don't want people to be like, oh, Street Fighter Six. I mean, fucking Throw Loop City, dude. Fuck that game. And then Street Fighter Seven comes out. You don't want that. The door Marvel tits, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that. Every time I get like a new game, I'm looking at it from like a, a Marvel player's kind of standpoint, not in like unless like a, a Street Fighter player's kind of standpoint. But yeah, it, it's funny because like it, it is like that with every game, and no matter who you talk to, is always going to be what was your kind of game that got you into the FGC kind of thing. It's interesting because balance wise, it may not feel. I mean, as I, I, you know what? That's kind of me with More Combat X. More Combat X was like an unbalanced fucking game. I love MKX, man. I, MKX was like the first game I took serious because uh just because of how the game is just like progressing into like a one-dimensional way of forcing the throw which mm -hmm. i which in my opinion that's pretty much what everybody's doing is forcing the throw yeah. right i hate that uh but in terms of like healthiness for like to get people in it's like perfect yeah <laughs> it, it's so a good, good game to like get new players in to like play the game because yeah i think it's it, it's really easy and like it's very simple to understand and well, i also think this in a way it's healthy for you know character balance we just saw Re like kuzanagi won U ufa with ryu and like yep, everyone's yep, yep. like oh ryu sucks ryu sucks and i'm like yeah no, ryu, ryu not ryu's good ryu not he just and like a weird like ryu also just requires patience and hit confirms and to do cool shit but ryu does big boy damage Best, man. but like at the same time it is Girl, if Ryu forcing you, if Ryu's throwing looping you in the corner, bro, you can get got by. You can get got. It's as simple as that. So I also yeah. do think it helps balance wise as well. Oh, actually, yeah. I mean, look at right here, right, right here. He, so right here. Oh, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, look at this right. So he does this drive rush back dash. If Shao Hai would attack, even if I, <laughs> you lose, right? So if Shao Hai took the throw here, he doesn't lose. But if he would attack the throw here, he would have lost the game, right? Because Street Fighter 6 is just a high damaging game at the end of the day. And that's where I feel like the throws is so deadly is because if you don't fucking take the throw, 
and you back dash like right there, Shao Hai would have teched. Because, you know, pro players tech a lot. If he would have teched, he, he loses. You can get got. It's as simple as that. So I also yeah. do think it helps balance wise as well. I think it's, it makes the games easier to balance and, you know, you can see more characters in tournaments oh, because game, well, not like, every character kind of has the same game plan. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a there's a fighting game out right now that has, I think the game, Grand Blue has 10 frames of throw protection on Wake Up or yeah. eight frames. That's and, so amazing. Uh, how do you feel about having throw protection in this in Street Fighter 6? I think I think it'll be good. I think somebody told me that was in Third Strike as well, but I think it'll be great. But I think it'll be. It would change I the game. If they were to take throw loops out. Dude, I solved it, right? So let's say they give it the 10 frames or like the 8 frame, or let's say like 6 frames or so of fucking throw loop protection. But if you wake up parry, you lose the protection. That would be fucking smart, right? So let's say you go for the throw and they don't pair, your throw will just whiff completely and then you'll get a, and then the opponent can punish counter you. But if the opponent wakes up parry thinking that you're going to do a meaty, then to try like land like a perfect parry, to then get like a back throw for corner control, then they will get thrown. That would be, oh my God, that would be fucking Side good. The game, they have to change so much and I think they're unwilling to, I don't think they want to do that. What you, What about if they may uh, throws hard knockdown? Oh my God! Here it is. <laughs> here it is. Uh, how many? How many uh, throws that? How many throws that? How many throws that? How many throws that? Let's count the throws, chat. This is Shao Hai, by the way. This is a man who won what three hundred thousand dollars. This is a fucking Evo champion, KOF player. Oh, why don't you just fucking delay tech? Just, just use your fucking delay tech. Just delay tech, Arroyo. Learn how to delay tech. Throw loops are strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he went for the fucking seventh. He went for the seventh. Brother, you telling me, oh, the, the, an Evo champion who's winning fucking Street Fighter tournaments is getting throw looped. You think the average person is not as well? Brother, we're all getting throw looped. I think they're unwilling to. I don't think they want to do that. What you, What about if they may uh, throw his hard knockdown? <laughs> that would make the game. Uh, that's going to turn the game to Street Fighter 4. <laughs> yeah, but with perfect parry, with parry in the game, it, it wouldn't be as bad, right? Because you don't have to guess left or right. Your that is true. 16 iPhone 16. I have an iPhone 14. Oh my MLSK. God! What the fuck? He just threw his shit. Oh, yeah, I guess his, actually. Yeah. He must have had a side bitch. Yeah, and his that, girlfriend was coming over or some shit. Sense. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe. So and, and then with the throw protection, you you get a safe jump, uh, but you can't do like empty jump throw. But you get like a you get like a high low, and you get like. But remember, if you do an empty jump throw, it would be because they are waking up. Dude, think about it, right? If okay, so if they don't wake up Harry, they're gonna eat that they're gonna eat the empty jump, right? And then they're gonna lose drive gauge, which is bad. But if they wake up Harry on the empty jump, they won't lose drive gauge, which is good. But if they do empty jump throw and you don't do parry, they would whiff and then you get a punish. But if they think that you're gonna parry, then um right, then the then the throw would actually throw them out of parry. Like to free the parry and you get like a delay throw. But the thing is about it is like even if they safe jump your perfect parry, it's not like you're in punishment. Yeah, yeah you're <laughs> not gonna get punished. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still like a it's still like a mini game. It may not be like a mini game that we like. I think you gotta kill. But it's better to get throw loop five times in a row and like you take all this amount of damage, and then you try to like defend yourself and you lose eighty percent after afterwards. I I think Street Fighter. Yeah. No, it's pretty bad. Six still like i think it's the best modern game By as far. a uh, yeah as a product right now and i think it is it does help a lot with like you know getting players into the game uh people you know millions of copies sold game, yada 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 uh but yeah i do wish there was like a uh uh maybe just like a uh a, a, a bit like deeper level of complexity and like i i completely off topic i hate that the, that street fighter fought i mean street fighter 6 got rid of the it is that was the death of the left right mix-up and i i hate it i hate that about it too
Oh yeah, though, because in Street Fighter Six, only certain characters can actually um, only certain characters in the corner can actually do like left right mix. Like if you forward jump at like a certain angle in oh in like older fighting games, you can like push the opponent out the corner, which is like left right mix. But Street Fighter Six is always the same shit. It's in the game. Yeah, because they got rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, left yeah. right mix up was uh, were, were another way to open up layers and stuff like that. I appreciate this conversation. You like layers. This conversation is sick. Um, where can he find you? Where can he find you, I Dom? I Dom NYC. I Dom. You know, the Twitch, I Dom NY, and you know the the YouTube also. I Dom FGC. I've been putting out a lot of YouTube content. Uh, this says I. It's uh, hello, I Dom. This is I Dom NYC, not Ed, I Dom FGC. YouTube hello, content, can we get a fucking see. correction? Hey man, I like that. <laughs> I like the sound of that, bro. That's a nice. Question man heck yeah man you working hard in, in content and in tournament bro <laughs> like, we love i don't employee <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below i appreciate it regardless if you agree or disagree uh Damn. the fact that you guys supported me means a lot to me so with that being said we'll see you guys on the next episode peace peace yeah, I mean, I said everything I need to say. I'm not going to keep this video going longer. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I greatly do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, button, comment, down, leave a like. Comment down below how you think, if you agree or disagree. I don't give a fuck. What do you say? I don't care. No, no, thank you, everybody, and I'll see you all again next time. See ya!